Yes, you're doing it. Uh, I did it last week, didn't I? Welcome to the As Yet Undecided podcast with your convicted hosts, Mike and Sophie. <laughs> Did, did the conviction actually sound like you saying conviction? Well, not too sure. I tend to say conflicted instead of convicted. Yeah, 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 but okay, fine. Do you want me to say it again or, or is that fine? No, that's fine. You can't copy my accent. Which actually kind of reminds me, what is my accent, do you think? Well, firstly, hmm? firstly, before we get onto your accent, yeah, we have to go with the brand new corner. Sophie's Corrections? Yeah. Surprisingly, there's actually no corrections to make. Really? That that uh, by the sounds of things, my third podcast was my first ever corrections-free podcast because I finally made sure that I got my facts right before I said it, which is surprising. So, huh? So that was probably the most organised podcast in regards to, regards to Sophie's content. Yes. And actually, I have a correction. Mike's correction. This is not in reference to the third podcast, this is in reference to the first podcast. Oh, good grief. Yeah, I know. T- talking about, you know, my reliability and validity in regards to podcast formats. Hmm. Because um, we talked about Holy, the Indian Festival. Yes. Right? And I, t- and I called it the Festival of Lights. Yes. It is incorrect. What is it? It is the Festival of Colours. Oh, I suppose that's a, there's a difference. Definitely yep. a difference. Yep. So Holy is actually on Monday. Oh, that would be lovely to go to. Yeah, but um, and saying that because we have to talk about the accent. Mm. Um, but how was your week? Tiring. This is university. It's it's really. I mean, university is great. You get to learn a lot of things. You get a lot of you meet a lot of friends, such as Mike. Oh. That's honestly, it's so draining because you have so much to do. True that. In actual fact, I had a test yesterday. How did you go? Ah, oh, 60%, so I can't really complain. It's like mm. three out of five. You passed. Well, since we're going back to hoodies. Yeah. Um, fashion hoodies. Yes, designer hoodies. Yeah, considering that you, you are the one who wanted to talk about designer hoodies, mm. and I was just being the simpleton. And decide to go, oh, we're just talking about hoodies in general. But now we're talking about designers mm. that actually have hoodies. Why? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's the whole hipster slash rebel against the system. I mean, traditionally, if you think about it, um, who are the types of people to wear hoodies? Rappers? Gangsters? Yeah, generally, yeah, generally rappers and young people of the social elite. Yes. So, which begs the question, uh, have hoodies lost their stigma? Are they now more fashion items than clo- item clothings to denote your rebellion? No, well, or are they both now? Well, well, you have to Is it fashionable to rebel? Well, well it's, it's difficult because, you know, when you, when you were buying a designer hoodie, you are exemplifying the status mm. of... Of that celebrity and what it entails. Mm. Um, yeah, so it's basically instead of dumbing down of the actual clothing itself, yeah, it's more about the design and what that particular hoodie represents, rather than the actual clothing itself. I see. So you're saying that the um, what the hoodie represents is now becoming more mainstream. Yeah, 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 it's more about the representation rather than the clothing. So what does what so what do hoodies represent these days? Well, it's basically more low socioeconomic, but because, like I've said previously, it's mm-hmm. it's a vers- versatile piece of clothing. Yes. You can cater it for hot, cold, whatever, right? Yes, and whenever you don't want to speak or look at anyone, just put your hood up. Well, exactly. Yes. So it's like hoodies were the pre-headphones of our time. Yes. Well, famous... Well, what's the famous and rich people wear hoodies? So, for example, uh, Mark Zuckerberg's very famous for his hoodies. Yes. yes. Because, because he wants to appear that he came... That he's just a man. He's just a simple man. Okay. That's, that's worth billions of dollars. A lot of um, 
DJs, electronic DJs with hoodies. Yes, but it, well, it, it's all to do with that music culture and the way that disc jockeys, yeah. hence how DJ was made, yes. is the acronym for... Rebellion. Yeah. They're supposed to re- represent the rebellion set. Yeah, instead of the quintessential orchestra... Mm. They Formal. Can, yeah, they would just put a vinyl and spin it away. Yes. And in saying that, there's... Um, at the Altair Square at the moment, as part of the Auckland Arts Festival. Yes. They are having um, certain days where there are going to be DJs there and playing um, hits from certain artists, certain genres. And I'm actually quite excited to go. Cause, yes. Because there's one for Prince. Really? And one for George Michael. Dead. Dead people. Dead? <laughs> We're playing music of dead people. What have we come to? <laughs> Yeah, so that's yeah, so that's how it's yeah. I'm like, Ricaresca and Pache. Yeah. Oh. So what? 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 Okay. Since we talked about it just before, and we um, did, did talk about it last week on the podcast. Yeah. Headphones versus earphones. Oh yes, earbuds. Earbuds. I know. What What is your preference? I haven't had headphones. I only ever had earbuds because I'm a traveller and earbuds are much more compact. So, for example, I have earbuds in my pocket right at this moment, okay. round, around, round about my phone. Whereas if I had headphones, I would have to wear it around my neck all the time. Okay. He- also, earbuds are much easier to conceal. So if you want to appear as if you're listening, but you're not, it's much easier to do so with earbuds than with headphones. Okay. So how many earbuds do you currently have? Put a round up number at five. Okay, five. But, but there's only one I use all the time. Okay. Me, I switch between the two. Yes. In certain situations. Mm-hmm. If I'm travelling yeah. around, um, I usually grab um, a simple um, wired earbud mm-hmm. because it doesn't matter if it gets ruined or not. Right. Right? But when I'm around here... I switch between my headphones. Um, basically, if I'm in a central spot, yes, and I want to listen and not be disturbed, I would use headphones. Headphones are also much better for gaming as well as noise reduction. I've, yeah. Um, okay. Another another thing of my gaming habits, I also game with my earbuds. So please don't judge. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and just to finish off. Um, if I'm walking around and I need yeah. some music, I have my Bluetooth earbuds. Yes. Which, there's a bit of distortion there. Yeah. But I'm ultimately happy with it. Because you can just put it in your pocket and just walk and just... There's no there's no consistent tugging. Oh, no. The only problem with I have for those is that I would lose them. Yes. So, they are, so Bluetooth, head, Bluetooth earbuds are really good for people who don't lose things, unlike me. But um, ultimately, though, what produces the better sound quality, usually? At a cheaper price. At a cheaper price? Yes. Would headphones produce a better sound quality at a cheaper price because you have more space to work with? Or is it the other way around? Do earbuds produce the better quality sound at the cheaper price? I would think that headphones would be the, the cheapest. No, actually, no. Scrap that. Yeah. Scrap that. Depends on the situation. I see. If you are are a sweaty boy, if you are a little sweaty boy, exercising a lot, yes, you would prefer earphones. Earbuds. Earbuds. Why is that? Because um, what you're doing is you're creating a vacuum with with headphones around your ears which produces a lot of humidity relatively quickly. So you would essentially be wet inside your ears. Yes. And who wants that? Mm. Who really wants that? Also destroy the quality of the sound as well because you're essentially listening underwater. Yeah. So, yeah. And that's why I switch between the two. I see. It's easier for me. You're a sweaty boy? Yeah, I'm a little sweaty boy. Okay. So say if you have to... So, what's your highest quality um, sound reception? Where's it from? Your earbuds or your headphones? 
It's well, yeah. Well, if you want quality, mm. uh, my headphones are the better one to go for. And I know how picky you are in regards to getting that high quality sound. Yes. But for me, I'm like, ah, it's fourteen dollars. I'm like, grab it. <laughs> how much did my headphones cost? I told you one time. I've forgotten. Your ones. Yeah, my earbuds. Oh, you told me it was some ridiculous number. I'm, I'm surprised they weren't made with 24 karat gold. <laughs> I think it was $80. I, I have some really nice sign houses for $80. Yeah. Yeah. And I, um, well, with my with my setup, mm. I have um, the cheap ones, uh, the warehouse ones. Yeah. And also have a Philips earbuds. Yeah. Um, my Bluetooth uh, is the same as my phone. Yeah. Um, and my headphones are creative. Yes, yeah, so they're actually really good. Yeah. And funny enough, my f- was it my second MP3 player was a creative one. So how much was the creative e- headphones? Fifteen dollars. I think we have a bit of a price difference here. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's it's because I like the deals. The deals. Deals. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I am a DL sort of a person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know more than most. Yeah, so um, my so that's why I can get away with um, my earbuds with a lot of situations because um, they're so high quality they may as well be headphones from time to time. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, so that's nice. But still, do you prefer headphones or earbuds in the end? Um, if you can only have one. Yeah, yeah, the, the the one audio device to rule them all. Yes. Um, Who, what's your king? <laughs> earbuds, always, because I'm a little sweaty boy. Nice. <laughs> okay. But yeah. so if I'm going to be plugged in all the time, you know, with either head, earbuds or um, headphones, are we becoming cyborgs? <laughs> well, I've seen a lot of... Uh, uh, well, what is your definition of cyborg? A cyborg is an organism that is perpetually connected to a device, to an electronic device, which includes us, actually. Um, it's, we, uh, I mean, we are cyborgs already because we depend a lot on our, on our smartphones to remember things for us. Okay, but the, they are not... Now, okay, okay. I see where you're going with this. Mm-hmm. Um... And I'm going to stop you right there. Yes. Because we are not fully dependent. We may be partially dependent. Partially dependent. But we are not fully independent. We are not fully dependent on our technology. But then again, we're not fully dependent on our hand. Yeah. So. Yeah, but, yeah, it's like we can live without a hand. Yeah. So but, but which one would you rather have? Would you rather have a Would you rather have a hand, or would you rather have a cell phone? Oh, true. <laughs> it's very hard to choose between the two these days. But the, but then again, it's not just depend. It's not just dependency. It's just like, is it part of your everyday life? And you, it's as you. Is it part of you? Would you consider your phone to be part of you? If you if it, if you do, then it's, then you become a cyborg. Okay. Okay. M- m- maybe th- th- this this is a good. This is a good point to make yes. because I know this mm. and Sophie knows this, but Sophie doesn't know I'm going to bring this up. Yeah. When you are talking about uh, making GDP, yes. what are the influences of increasing GDP geometrically? Geometrically? Geometrically. Increase productivity? Yes. Or, yeah, per metre, square metre. Yes. One of those includes increasing technologies. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so no matter what, mm. it's more about what the technology represents on an economic scale yeah. rather than biological. Hmm. Okay. But in saying that, we are be- this is probably the most dependent and we will be coming 
more and more dependent on technology for us for ever pretty much yeah. because because we see the benefits e- e- economically by biologically for us would you become a cyborg if you can like if like if they if someone offered you to replace one of your limbs with an electronic limb would you do that now now this is going to be a a larger debate mm. would you want to live forever no <laughs> Would you want to be transcended into a cyborg state? I'll see what the benefit that does. But honestly, um, the Greeks have a huge de- um, uh, body of law and myths basically stating why living forever sucks. Yeah. That's why Zeus is so much promiscuous. Yes. That's why there's so much... That's, that's why so much... E- What's it? And that's why that's why so much, that's why there's so much bad blood amongst the Greek amongst the Greek gods because they lived each other lived with each other for so long they just no yeah there's no progression for them it's boring well, one of the best quotes from a certain YouTuber hmm? that I always like to say that the best part about life it, it's it's impermanence yes it's impermanence it's temporariness yeah. yes. It makes you a reminder to actually do things now because um have you noticed that the gods are continuously procrastinating the Greek gods? Um, I they have ha- all the time in the world. I uh, well last time I checked I haven't had a conversation with a god. Yeah, in the myths anyway. Oh yeah, well, in well, the myths they're continuously procrastinating. Yeah, I mean they they have no impetus to do anything. They have they have no um, they have no. It's almost as if they don't have any will to live, but because they can't die. They don't have no other choice. <laughs> They're so bored. Yeah, that's that's probably why um, I'm so despiteful. Yeah. Yeah. So well, I'm very self-deprecating. That maybe I'm a god. I don't know. No, you're not a god. Oh damn it! <laughs> you have way too many health problems. Oh yeah. You have you have the wrong body shape. Yay! Mind you, you do look a little bit like Beckus, though. Well, 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 thank you, Chinese Judy Bailey. <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay, so Beckus was the god of wine and beer and alcoholic spirits and good times. Yes. And he has the right body shape for that. Yes, I, I am not... Oh. You're not ripped. No, 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 no. Oh, God, what's his name? What's his name? Um, damn it. What's this? What? What's the seven sins again? Gluttony. Yeah, I am not gluttony. <laughs> if, if you've watched Full Metal Alchemist, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is one anime that I need to watch as well. No, oh, it's great. Uh, it's great. Oh, great! I have a list now, Mike. Don't worry about it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. The same list that you have given me. This is called Paybacks of Bay. Full time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try not to violate our clean lyrics law. But um, yeah, how's Sherlock for you so far? Just quick. Squeeze. I have still only watched the first episode. <laughs> well, at least you've tried. Yeah, I, I, I'm going back there, but I'm like, ah, uni is just. Uh. I have to agree with you. I mean. Sherlock is hard. It's intense. You have a million fan theories. I should have made you watch it during the summer, not not during um uni, because it's uh, you're you're right though. It has to be it has to be watched when um you actually have the mental state to do so. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Mike. Yeah, I know. And we're yeah. talking about yeah. I'm like self psychology and ethics. Maybe some multi vitamins will get your strength up. Ta-da! Oh yeah. Um. I. I. Okay. So you have the um. Nature's own month daily means multi, or as I like to call it, polite Viagra. Yeah. Um. This is not a sponsor. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> no. 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 Uh, Nature's own is not a sponsor, nor is Viagra. I mean, mm. Bayer's. Bayer's. Make Bayer's makes Viagra, right? Yes. Okay. Anyway, we're not sponsored by Bayer's nor H- Nature's own. <laughs> the reason why I like to say it, say it's polite Viagra is because apparently it assists with energy protection, helps maintain cardiovascular health, and supports a healthy immune system. All required for sex. 
I see where you're going. Yes. And, and, and this is not the first time that she has mentioned this. She's mentioned this multiple times. Yeah. And um, j- j- just to confirm with, with the viewers, mm. um, one, it's not blue. Yeah. <laughs> Two, it's it, not pharmaceutical grade. It's green and it's herbs. Well, it's, well your one in particular is called Hipster Viagra. Hips of Viagra? Yes. It's, really? It's natural. Really? It's natural. <laughs> really? Yes. It's, really? It's green. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I am just waiting to go to my local supermarket in the health and beauty section and have a look at the multivitamin part and it's going to say, nature's own. Oh, dear. Actually, in saying that, this is sponsored. This this podcast is now sponsored by Nature's Own Hipster Viagra. (laughs) To to, to, to promote energy production and cardiovascular health. You know, to to make more hipsters. (laughs) If it wasn't enough of them already. Yeah. Yeah. And it promotes promotes GABA levels Mm -hmm. and serotonin. Yes. Reuptake. <laughs> so here's a so here's a nice theory. Is it possible for you to have well, just subsist on multi vitamins as well as a few pieces of bread for carbohydrates, for energy? Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Um. Um. J- Jerry Bradham, who is, who used to work with Flex Magazine. Yes. Do you know what Flex Magazine is? It's that magazine. It's a magazine for bodybuilders. Correct. And I used to subscribe to that magazine. Yes. Um, and he used to be an editor in the 1980s and used to train with Arnold Schwarzenegger in the early 1970s. Was when... that pre-steroid or post-steroid? It was steroid. Post-steroid. No, it was steroid. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Between no, pre steroid and post steroid. No, pre steroid ban or. Po- no, is this pre steroid ban or post steroid ban? Um, yeah. Um, Sophie, uh, <laughs> steroids are, are still being used. Regardless. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but not as much anymore. Okay. So when, like, when you see those mm. big, massive guys with um, synthol. Yeah. Injections? Yeah, that's just them being stupid. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I have a funny fact. Um, you know that a steroid is a is an alternative of testosterone, right? Yes. You have to be very careful not to use too much steroid. You know why? Why is that? Because testosterone is just a molecule away from estrogen, and if you have too much testosterone and the body doesn't use it, it then breaks down into estrogen and you develop breasts and yeah. fat. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so this is a tip, guys. Don't don't think that steroids just make you muscular because it can also make you more of a woman. Yeah, well, I, I will just say that if you are on the process of using <laughs> steroids, yeah, please be please use in moderation. Actually, probably better to stop. Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Um, in, in regards to that, um. He always suggested that multivitamins were the most quintessential yeah. nutrient that you wouldn't have. Wouldn't have. No, that you would have. You would have. Yeah. So, would he recommend a diet of, say, five multivitamin capsules plus some something to give you some calories? Now, now because, like, multivitamins... Oh, yeah, he just needs some protein. So, multivitamins and, pro- and protein, say, fish. Okay. Can you let me finish? Yeah, sure. Sorry. Can you let me finish? I was correcting myself. Okay. Um, because multivitamins um, have all of the micronutrients. Yeah. Right? What you're talking about in regards to protein, carbs, and fats, that's, it's talking about your macronutrients. Yes. Right? And we can talk about calorie intakes and all that sort of stuff all day. Mm-hmm. Um, one thing I should say before I premise this is that... Your body can run on protein. Yes. But the problem is about brain development. Without sugar or fats, your brain's stunted. No, without carbohydrates. Without carbohydrates. Your brain won't work. Your brain works on glucose. Yeah. Pretty much. Yes. 
So you have to try and get that balance right. Yes. Between protein and carbs. Generally, um, if you are exerting yourself, you would have a lot more protein than carbs. Because your muscles are more important than your brain. Yes, they would use more of the calories than your brain would, even though your brain uses 20% of it. Yes. But still. Um, That's why you would get a lot of headaches if you were on a, like an um, Atkins plan, which is primarily um, protein and fats. No sugars. Yeah, no sugars. So you have to really try and get that balance right. Yes. Hence the reason in my room currently you can see a whole bunch of protein sources and hardly any carbs. Baked beans. The ba- uh, ba- I know that beans themselves don't create carbs, but the tomato sauce do. Yeah, yeah, but but you know what I mean. Yes. Um, and, and you so, are on an acting diet, aren't you? N- not essentially. Yeah. Like, like take for instance, I have like noodles and even though it is a pretty bad carb, there's only one more packet of noodles left. Um, I do have pasta and I do have a lot of rice and I do have a lot of oats. And how about the tomato sauce I gave you? But tomato sauce is gone. You, you managed to have 300 mils of tomato sauce in a lot a day? No, no. Five days. Oh, sorry. Because so cause what I did... Mm. With, okay, Sophie was being very nice, and she, and she made me a savory tomato cold tomato soup. That's what she made me. It was supposed to be a sauce, except I didn't reduce it down enough. Yes. So because all of us students are on a tight budget. Yes. I decided to cook about seven hundred grams of chicken. Yeah. And 400 grams of mushrooms in it. Was it nice? It was, it was nice. It was actually... I knew you were a good cook. Um, it was relatively fruity. Yay! Um, and then what I did is I took it out. There was still some sauce there. Yeah. So I used the pasta Yeah. to make a cheesy tomato pasta. Wow. Talk about stretching it. Yeah, I know. Welcome to my life. Yes, you know, the quintessential student. Yeah. Do you want some more? We have three bottles left, and I'm going to make some more this weekend. We had... Okay, I grow tomatoes in my garden. Look, I'm, I have to make another batch of tomato sauce. We're never going to eat that, ma- that many tomatoes. I will take any necessary condiments that you would want to give me. Do you have the bottle? No. Crap. I was going to text you and ask if you needed the bottle. I need the bottle, because we don't have any bottles, actually. But to be fair, though, um, I'm going to use the... To be fair, though, I'm going to use the milk again. The milk, the milk's almost gone in its bottle, so I use the milk bottle. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just, just, just making sure. Yeah. Because it was a old Barker's jam bottle. Yeah. Um. Well, should we stop there? Would you like to finish it? Oh yes. You can contact us. So this has been the As Yet Undecided podcast. You can contact us on As Yet Undecided podcast at gmail.com. And we are on social media at AYU Podcasts on Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr. This has been Sophie. You can contact me on Sophie9709 on most platforms apart from Instagram. And I am Manus, T H E M A R N U S, on all platforms, including the Instagram ones. And if you want to guess show and if you want to guess in our podcast i'm afraid you guys will have to just have to be free on friday afternoons <laughs> <laughs> and give us plenty of notice because we will have to make up a whole new podcast for you